Hey guys, today I am going to make a video on what's new at the drugstore. I know um, first impression videos are really popular right now, but I have already used these products, so um, I, I couldn't do a first impression, so I just am going to mention a lot of the new prod, um, products at the drugstore and just tell you what I think about them. Um, I have three lip products, two eye products, and some nail polish as well. So I'm going to start with the eye products. So first thing I have is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. Um, this is like, it's by Lash Blast, so it is the same kind of, it's the same kind of like short plastic bristles, but this one is curved. And I actually really like this. I, um, you know, with one coat, it's not too impressive, but this builds upon itself really well and it does not get... Um, it does not get too clumpy, definitely not at all. And um, I usually, if I'm doing that by itself, I'll do three layers, but um, what I'm doing right now is I'll use two layers of this mascara and one layer of another mascara. But I do think that this is definitely um, something that you guys should try. I really recommend this. And I'm, I, you know, I'm not really found a Holy Grail mascara. I have some that I will repurchase. Like if you see my top three mascara video, um, you'll see that there are products that I really love, but as far as it, above all, number one, does everything else jading mascara, I haven't found that, but I do really like this and suggest you guys pick it up. Next thing I have is a black liner. I should stop buying these because my eyes run so bad that a waterproof claim never works for me. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Cold Pencil. This is not waterproof. Um, I had it on my eyes for a couple hours and it smudged and ran really bad. If you do not have watery eyes, you may like this. And also, while using it, the tip broke off and I had to um, sharpen it again. But this is what it looks like and it is quite opaque. And once it sets, you know, it on your hand, it's going to be different than on your eyes. And I do set it with a powder um, black shadow too. and. It didn't matter. It was just ran really bad. I mean, I'm going to try to keep using this. I never wear um, black on my lower lash line because it will always run and look terrible. And I do like the way it looks, but, you know, sometimes I don't have time to run back and forth between classes and touch up with a Q-tip. So I would pass on this. Um, it was only like $5 at, at Walgreens. I'm, I kind of wish I didn't get it just because I should have known it wouldn't work. And it's... a Kajal Cole pencil, so I should have known that too. And now I have three lip products to show you. Um, the first one would be the new Wet n Wild Fergie lipsticks. This is in the shade Ferguson Crest Cabernet, and this is supposed to be a dupe for Mac Rebel, which I've wanted to try, but I'm not really a lipstick person, so I didn't want to spend the money for it. And I know Wet n Wild Mega Last, like the matte lipstick line, had a dupe for it as well. But I hate matte lipstick, so I did not want to pick it up from there. So um, I, I really thought this was going to be the same formula as the Mega Last, but just be in a different packaging. But um, this is really creamy. I like the color. I think it's very pretty. It, dark, opaque color on my lips doesn't look so great on me just because my lips are odd shape like they look fine without anything on them or something light but you know it, I, I still need to work with this but it is very creamy it's not drying and I like this and I hate most lipsticks I find them very uncomfortable on my lips but this was really nice I really definitely like this and if you are looking for a dupe for Mac Rebel <coughs> if you are looking for a dupe for Mac Rebel I do recommend picking that up and the next thing I have is the L'Oreal um, Shine Caress Gloss Stain. Uh, I'm not sure the full name. I know it's really long and crazy. And of course it's not on the packaging. But that's the gist of it. I got the color Stubborn Plum. And it's just really pretty pinky plum color if you can see that in the packaging. The packaging is very nice. Um, L'Oreal does own YSL. So this, um, from a lot of people who actually own the YSL, I have heard that this is exactly the same formula as the YSL. Even though there are not as many shades of this, I think this has got between 10 and 15 shades. I'm not quite sure. Somewhere in that area, I believe. But this is the only one I was interested in. 
and I like the teardrop appli doe foot applicator and this is something that I apply once kind of let dry and then I'll apply again to get a more opaque color and it does have like a slightly like tacky feel to your lips but it's not like a really thick lip gloss so it's not like you're sticking your lips together it was kind of weird at first but I, I got used to it but I don't think I'll purchase any more colors um, but I do like this one and I um, I like it on my lips and especially if you are interested in the YSL um, glossy stains, then I definitely do recommend picking one of these up to try it out, to try it for yourself. I do like this. The next thing everybody has been raving about, but I personally do not like, and that would be the Maybelline Color Whisper. And I got the color Pin Up Peach, which is very pretty. And these do have a scent. Some people say they don't. I mean. I'm really sensitive to scent, so that's not like I'll have a reaction to them, but if there's um, if there's a scent in something, I will notice it for sure. So that's why I can't wear a lot of lip, or I don't like a lot of lip products because the scents of them drive me wild. So, but this, uh, in case you're wondering, I can't quite pinpoint the scent, but it is not the same as a Maybelline um, regular lipstick scent, which I really despise. So I kind of do want to pick this up, but. Um, I had asked somebody on Instagram if it has the same typical Maybelline scent and she said no and she was right. It is different. It's not bad. And it's not it's not that strong. So um, this you will definitely be able to handle the smell. This people have been comparing this to the Revlon lip butters. This is nothing like the lip butters because this is not the same formula. It's not it's not the same thickness. And I this has got a lot more slip. On your lips and I don't like that I personally you know the kind of chapsticks I like are thick I like um, lip butters because they are thick this is very very similar to the L'Oreal um, caress color reach caress lipsticks I have one of those lipsticks and I didn't like it either it's but if you like the L'Oreal caress lipsticks then you will like this as well um, the color is pretty you know I do like the shade Whenever there are these new things that are supposed to be like the lip butters from other brands, I always try them because I want to find a good corally shade and, you know, this, they did have a coral but it had, there's only like two on the display and both of them had like chunks taken out of them. So of course I'm not going to pick a damaged one but, and these are not sealed. Um, I, I got mine from Target and they were not sealed, which I personally like so I can see the color and I just don't pick up one that's been touched. Um, but the color is pretty. Like I said, if you like the L'Oreal um, Caress lipsticks, you will probably like this. But I do not like those lipsticks, so I do not like this. And I, you know, everybody's raving about it so much. So I don't want to say that it's a bad product. It's just not for my lips. I've got very sensitive lips. Um, I put on chapstick probably every 20 minutes. So I, and you know, I have like 15 different chapsticks depending on what condition my lips are in. So I'm very, my lips are like, heightened sens sensitive I know that doesn't make sense and it's probably isn't correct but it's just like uh, things that go on my lips I'm very particular about so I don't like a lot of lipsticks because they're too thick and this has got too much slip to it it just needs to be perfect which is why I love the lip butter so much but and you know not to say that if you like the lip butters that you won't like these these are not the same product they shouldn't be compared to each other these are definitely different this is like the L'Oreal uh, L'Oreal Caress color reach lipstick so if you like those you'll probably like these and just go for a shade that you don't have in the L'Oreal Caress because this the formulas are very similar but I really like the packaging and I think this is cute and slim I definitely still want to use it maybe I'll change my mind about it if I do I'll let you guys know and then the last thing are the CoverGirl Stay Brilliant um, nail glosses now I do not like CoverGirl as a brand everything I've tried has sucked so you know I got two CoverGirl things and I like them both. So that was great. So CoverGirl is definitely stepping up the game for me personally. Um, and this packaging is very similar to like Chanel. And it takes a little bit of a pulling. But and I didn't know this until I had seen somebody else's video. The, um, the square top comes off so that it is easier to apply to your nails. Which I 
really do like as well. And this was originally released with 15 colors and now there's 45. And when I was trying to look up swatches, I found like one post. I tried to look up YouTube videos, there was only like 10 or 12 and they were of the some of the original 15 colors. I went on CoverGirl's website, they still only had the original 15 colors. My Walmart had the full display, my Walgreens had the full display, Target had like half of the display. Um, so I was just so frustrated because there was colors I wanted to try. And the first one that I got was this nude shade in Always Naked. I thought about doing a separate review on this. But I think I'm just going to tell you here, this is very similar, very, very similar to Essie Sand Tropez. And these cost $5, I believe, at my Target and $6 at Walgreens. Um, but this nail polish, you know, they had like a challenge to see if it would last seven days and with no top coat because there's supposed to be a top coat within the formula or something like that. Of course I applied top coat anyway. Nail polish lasts on me three days. This nail polish lasted five days. That is amazing. It it took five days for it to, for it to start chipping and then I just took it off and put on another nail polish. But usually it's two to three days. Um, usually my nails start chipping on the second day and then the third day I have to it's, you know, third or fourth day, it's so bad I have to repaint my nails. This really did last five days on me, which is great because I'm, you know, I, I know this is gross. I pick my teeth with my fingers, you know, I'm constantly doing things which will chip my nail polish. And now I have a pottery class, so there's no point in even painting my nails, but, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, but, you know, for this to last five days on me is really amazing. Um, and it will probably last longer than other people who aren't so hard on their nails. And then the second color I got is Coral Silk. I haven't tried this yet, but I am on the mission for a, a perfect coral nail polish. And this is like a coral with some peach to it. So I'm hoping that it doesn't show up too orange on my nails because every coral I get is too orange. My favorite um, peach and coral nail polish are from um, Jessie's Girl. But I do not like the formula and I do not like that tiny brush. So um, I'll let you guys know when I try this what I think about it. But the formula itself I really like. I love this color. It's a dupe for Essie Saint Tropez. And so... Um, that was what is new at the drugstore. I'm sorry if this was long, but this was a haul and mini review. So I would, for my personal um, opinion on these products, I would recommend the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, the L'Oreal um, Gloss Stains. I don't think you need to pick up every shade, but I definitely think you should try one. The Wet n Wild Fergie Lipsticks and the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant Nail Gloss. So, um, and then my two fails for me were the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner and the Maybelline Color Whisper. But that is just personally me. If you like those products, that is great and I wish I liked them. Like I said, I'm going to use this Color Whisper a little bit more um, before I decide whether I really like it or not. I'm not really one to just toss out a product automatically. So, I want to play with that a little bit more. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you have any if you tried on any of these things, or if you have, please leave your opinions down below. Please also leave color suggestions. And thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.